Hello beautiful people, this is another good good day that I just am about to show you something that you've never seen before because today you are the right channel at the right place where I'm going to be teaching you so much because this is a place where I'm always teaching each and every time the best tricks on business, the best tricks on traveling and social media marketing. You are the right place and this is a place to be because in this channel you will never go out the same way you came in so stick with me and let's get started so today i'll be teaching you something about how to negotiate salary after a job offer so many people always offer jobs every day we offer jobs left right and center but we don't know how to negotiate salary we are always making mistakes and that's why we're always underpaid and that is why i put together this kind of session and this kind of talk today, this kind of video, so that I can be able to explain to people exactly how they can negotiate and get better offer on salary. So, I have five major, major, major topics or points or tips, whatever you may call them. And this is just about to start. So keep it locked. <music> So, on to the first point, talk about your value, you know, talk about your value. What is your value? Do you feel you have value, you know? If you don't have value, then nobody's going to value exactly what you're talking about. So show evidence. I believe if you give um, your value in whatever you're trying to say and the way you're trying to negotiate, people are going to listen to you. But if you're valueless, you know, there are those kind of people who always, you just get to the office, you're just there online on social media doing your things and the boss is always complaining on you, there is nothing that you're doing. My friend, let me tell you, if you're not adding value, then forget about salary negotiations, you know. And as well, if it's a new place that you uh, just got in a new job, you can say, hey, I know I will give this and this kind of value because I have this and this kind of skill and I have this and this kind of ideas and extras that I have that not many other people have. And I believe I'm going to push your company forward. That's why I also ask you to give me a certain amount of salary because my value that i'm going to bring will double the uh, the, the income of the company by a b c d i believe in my value i believe in what i've worked and i know this is the exact value i'm going to give and also remember don't lie because they will be watching they'll be they're always taking notes down there and they know if you lie to them they're going to tell you hey come here mr so and so hey you told us you're going to give us this value and you never brought the value so hey i think we don't need your services or you lie to us or maybe we are going to take uh, some amount of money from your salary so that that's not what you want to happen so let's go to point number two point number two is do your market research you know most people don't do market research uh understand locally how much other people are being paid on the same position of job like yours the top performers how much are they earning because if you don't do your research there's no way you're going to say pay me 50,000 or pay me 100,000 and the other people in the market are being paid 20,000 it's not going to work pay me 500,000 and other people are earning 100,000 for your position is not going to work do a little market research because these people are not fools they're sitting down there and they know as long as you're giving the something which is somehow in the market don't be so low don't be too high you know just play your cards very well and of course uh, just to show how much of a pro or how much of a great person you are at least try to make it somehow a little bit higher than the market price so that they can see you have much more value so do a good market research understand what other people are being paid and then you can negotiate on that angle so let's go to point number three Give a number, not a range. You know, most people are always saying, uh, how much do you, you, you asked? How much do you want to be paid? Ah, uh, just pay me between uh, 70 and 100,000, you know, whichever, just anything above 70, I'm okay. No, we don't do that. You give an exact number. Hey, I want to be paid 100,000. 
this is what I want to get. This is what I think and I feel I'm worth. And this is what I know. I will give the best results because I know and I can feel with this 100,000 shillings that you want to pay me, I'm going to be comfortable. I'm going to uh, do even add more effort wherever I'm, I've already calculated each and everything on concerning that salary uh, and that amount that I've given you. But if you just give them a range and tell them, um, I just pay me between this and that, you know, they're going to pick the lowest amount that you've mentioned. If you have said a uh, hundred to maybe 60 to a hundred thousand, they're going to pick 60,000. And maybe you didn't want 60,000, you wanted a hundred thousand. So they are no fools. And whenever they they, 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 they will pick that amount of money, they'll tell you, Hey, you gave us a range and we took, we pick this. So that's what we think we are comfortable about. And of course, they won't give you exactly that 60,000 which you asked on the lower side of the range. They are going to say, oh, we're comfortable paying you 50,000 because of blah, 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 blah. We want you to pick that. But if you give them 100,000, they're going to negotiate slightly below. Of course, everybody negotiates. Nobody wants to go on a loss, even if they are a big company, multinational company. Nobody wants to go on a loss. So what they're going to do, they will reduce it a little bit, at least by 10% or 5%. And you'll still be on the right note. So let's go to point number four. So number four, I always tell people that go in with leverage, you know, Go in with leverage. Don't just do your things in a shoddy kind of way. Um, what I mean is enhance scarcity. That's the, the actual word to use. Enhance scarcity. Whenever something is rare or is uh, not available, people really want to buy it more. Just show uh, the, 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 your employers or the guys who are employing you or the panel that you're a rare commodity. You're not just any other kind of person. Of course, don't brag about it. Just say it in a very cool and calculated manner. Uh, you know, um, other companies have been looking for me. I've had two, one, two, three offers here and there. And I'm really so much interested to work in your company because you guys, I feel that you can grow and become the biggest. You know, I feel, I feel, I feel, you know, you're the best. Of course, praise them, praise them and tell them, you really want to work with them, but of course you've had uh, other companies which are really fighting to get you. Of course, don't use that kind of word. Uh, just say those guys are really chasing me. I've had a few phone calls, but I decided that I want to work with you. So come in with uh, leverage because if you don't do so, people are going to think, uh, it's just any other guy, so hey, we will call you don't call us, we will call you don't call but they know if they're going to lose this person, the other company might pick him. So leverage is important if you want to make it in negotiation. So let's go to the fifth point, which is uh, time it appropriately. Other people ask for salaries at a wrong time. You know, it's at the middle of the year. People are really busy working and doing other things and concentrating with whatever uh, kind of uh, project they have been given by the company. Uh, and you, you're here trying to negotiate. There is a, a good time that you can speak about negotiation. You know, uh, maybe there is a weekly, um, we have some weekly meetings or monthly meetings or maybe some end year party when the boss is trying to tell people, hey, how was the job? Have you enjoyed? Do you have any issues that we may address in our company? That is a time which is appropriate for you to start your negotiation. Don't just wake up one day and tell the boss, hey, I want to see you in your office. Office. Hey, uh, can you add me salary? You'll be thinking your money-minded fella. What's up? Hey, uh, this guy is full of his money-minded. Just bring it like a by the way at the appropriate time. Yeah. Or maybe when the boss comes and asks you, hey, are you faring okay? Do you have any problem? Do you need things? We Do you need us to adjust maybe a certain thing? You know, that is the appropriate time for you to be able to negotiate. And at, I'm, I'm very, very sure if you do it at the right way, at the right time, you're going to see their best results. So I have one extra tip point that I really want to give. And this is like an, a whole a whole conclusion of everything if you want to have this uh, job uh, salary given it the way you want and this point that i want to give the extra tip is be humble and polite people hate people who brag people hate people who uh, show themselves as if they are a little bit higher than the others people don't want to be associated with you know guys who are 
trying to show themselves or you know i'm the best employee here nobody can tell me nothing you know just be humble this is a very important point it's basically just like the whole you know the whole cream of the whole cake you know if you're not humble nothing is going to work you will negotiate uh, you will talk you will give your points you will say everything but people will just be looking at you like you know you guy uh -huh, no we're not going to do this because uh, no we, we think you're too much bragging so guys uh, this is one of the points that can really, really, really make you uh, be one of the people who get the best kind of salary that you want and you will enjoy your job. And of course, uh, apart from that, I've, I've, I have a number of other videos that definitely will be speaking much more about um, how you can improve in your business, how you can improve in this and that. Uh, of course, check them down in the link below. I've put a little bit of a few links there, of course, which will direct you to other very exclusive videos. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. There's a subscription button down there. Just subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any video which will be coming every Thursday and Sunday and sometimes even Tuesdays. So keep it locked and stay cool. Enjoy your day. Bye.